Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, today I'm going to tell you my revert story to Islam. I'm going to tell you from the beginning when I first had my experience with Islam to today when I have uh, reverted. Um, my first experience with Islam was I know it was before. I don't. I don't really remember when I had my first experience, but I know it was before I was seven years old because. When I was seven years old, my parents got divorced and um, my parents have always and they still are really good friends so it was not a fight or anything like that. So we went on a family trip after they got divorced when I was seven. Uh, my mom, my dad, my sister, my younger brother, we went on a trip to Egypt, a Muslim country. So, um, and I saw, you know, women wear the headscarf and black abayas so I and I kind of know they didn't eat pork or anything like that so I I knew about Islam then and my mom's friend she's Greek and she had she she's kind of Christian she is not Muslim but she had a friend who is Lebanese and he is Muslim uh, so, yeah, I, that was like, no, I was older, I was like 12, when, yeah, I was 12 when, um, I met that Muslim, that Muslim guy, I don't know. Anyway, I had my first experience with Islam before I was seven, that's the only thing I remember. Um, and I didn't really... I obviously had a bit of fool because my dad was a religious teacher. Um, so, you know, Judaism, Christianity. My mom was a Catholic, she's not anymore. My dad was a Hindu, um, he's not anymore. Uh, yeah. So, I knew about religion, kind of. I went to church when I was younger, like every other week. Um, uh, yeah, when I, I was like, when I got older, I got into politics, I am got interested in everything like that, and I've always been that person, if everyone like, like Justin Bieber, I, I no, remember that, everyone hated Justin Bieber when I was younger, and I was like, then I got me to like him, I wanted to, I didn't want it to be like everyone else, I felt like if every, everyone thinks one way, I'm gonna think the other way, um, and when I got into politics, it was like the same thing. Um, if everyone thinks one way, I'm going to be, well, you stupid. I think this way, like the other way, the complete opposite. And uh, yeah, um, so when I got into politics, I listened to. I had I had really strong opinions, and I want to listen to people um, when they talked about. Um, politics and stuff, you know, when I'm, I listened to them, they were, they had really convincing arguments, so I, I was like, yeah, it's like that way, I didn't really think of myself, I just listened to them, and like, yeah, okay, I was young, I was like 12, um, yeah, I remember when I was, when we had the uh, election here in Sweden when I was yeah it was 2014 I started to get more and more into politics really much so it was two almost two and a half year ago year, years ago um, yeah two years ago around like that um, and yeah and when I listen to this, I start to listen to kind of propaganda podcasts and who, or not really propaganda podcasts, I'm going to say, they are really anti-Islam, they're like, Muslim is like the biggest problem, Muslim have, Islam is evil, um, it's like, Islam is, is the reason why it's so bad, yeah, it was like that. Um, um, yeah, so, I thought that way, I thought Islam was evil, I thought, um, yeah, I like that, 
I had really strong opinions and when I was when I went 2015 last year um, I I've also had social anxiety and didn't really walk with the group now I'm actually doing an like test on thing if I have some weird stuff if I'm like I'm autism or anything like that I don't think I have it why do I why do I say this I don't know anyway now you know it um but I have always had problem with social things and always been off the groove and all that stuff um so um 2015 between like March March and the end of May yeah and beginning of, of June I stayed home because I, I couldn't handle go to school it was so it was so hard because my social anxiety was so bad um, and then I managed to go to school and then I in eighth grade when I was 14 I changed school and I, st I got to learn a really nice girl and we were you know really good friends and stuff um, so yeah but then now 2016 when this kind of part of the school year started um, she moved back to her previous school yeah and I got a lot I was alone I haven't I didn't I didn't have anyone to be with and my social anxiety went so bad so I was home from kind of January to um, now when school started again uh, August uh, yeah because um, yeah my social anxiety was really bad and when I was home I was watching YouTube and all that stuff and then uh, like I still was like into politics you know I'm still into politics um, I still thought Islam was evil and all that stuff at the beginning of this year and then I got um, my recommended videos I got a hijab tutorial from Dina Tokyo yeah it was her um, she did her like turban style or anything I was like oh this is so beautiful um, I still thought Islam was evil and all that stuff but I got interested in the hijab because uh, I and I got like I came over like videos with people who were non-muslim and wear the hijab and I was like oh my god this is really interesting and so I started to read more about that and I liked the concept of hijab like in general um yeah Anyway, I read much about it. I was still really anti-Islam Islam and Muslims and all that stuff. Um, but then some pa time passed and in April I just stopped. Like, I start, I start li watch like, I don't know, meaningless videos like top 10 lists and stuff. Um, then, I'm sorry if I'm not looking into the camera. It's like a window, people are going outside it and I'm like I'm watching you <laughs> um yeah and then the oh my god why have I so hard to think I don't know then I yeah then it was in like around May I started you know a new video a hijab tutorial popped up in my feed and I was like okay <laughs> so I watched it and stuff get more into it and I like the concept of you know covering the hair and all that stuff and I watched a Christian who were a head covering I was like wow and now I know like this day a Christian star also supposed to cover the hair and I had no idea about that and yeah uh, so I got that interested and I, I was not Christian. I didn't really think that Jesus was God's son. I was not Jew and I was definitely not Muslim. Like Islam is evil I thought. So I don't. I was like okay I'm going to follow my own religion. I'm just going to follow what I think is logical and one day I may be um, 
find one religion, the truth. Uh, but today I'm just going to follow, you know. And I started to implement thing, things that I thought was logical and what I should do, what God I think I should do, what I think God would like me to do. And I started kind of covering my hair a little bit. It was more kind of a Christian head covering, like half of the hair was out and like it was not a proper head covering at all. Um, but I started to wear that a little bit. I stopped, I didn't, most of the time I didn't wear it at, at all actually. Um, then, um, yeah, then around one, you like, three, two weeks before school started, um, I got in, yeah, I thought, I came up with some videos about niqab, and I was like, this is interesting, um, so I watched some niqab videos from niqab, about from niqabis and all that stuff, and I came over, um, store who's selling the carbs and um you know this stuff and i i was like okay if i was muslim if i were in the club which of this sh would would i wear so i like oh this is where this i would wear that and that and that and i was like oh this is a really and then actually i saw my own club uh and i tried it out and i was like Okay, I tr I will try to go out with it, just to feel, just to know how it feels, and it was the best feeling ever. I I have never in my whole life felt so free. This was not the one I saw. This is from Sinestai. Um. Uh, <laughs> just you know, and I had never felt so free in my whole life. It was the best thing. My social anxiety just went away. I don't know. It was the best thing ever. <laughs> So I was like, when I come, cause I I went to the store, and then I went home, and I, I told my mom like it's like the best thing ever. I just told her how amazing it was with her, cause I know I was like I want to wear this like all the time. So I was like, oh, I wish I could wear it all the time. She was like, yeah, why not? My mom is really open minded actually. She's like, oh, you can be whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. Like I will love you. I will like everything like that. So. She had no problem with it. She was like, yeah, do that. I don't care. Like, I was like, yeah, okay. So, I actually started with the niqab. I still thought then that Islam was evil. But I wore the niqab, I like, I don't care. I want to wear it. It feels so amazing. And then I opened an Instagram account when I wore the niqab and I got to know some um, who also were not Muslim who wore the niqab and uh, Muslims who wore the niqab and they were like oh my god like oh mashallah to, um, something like that and um, yeah and then uh, was now she's we are like friends um, but then she was like she um now my friend messaged me messaged me on instagram and she was like oh mashallah you're wearing the niqab and she was like oh do you ha if you have any questions about islam please ask me because i answer you and i was like yeah i have questions because then i thought islam was evil just pure evil i thought that and i and i thought islam was like oh it's no logical things in it it's just rubbish and then i came with verses and is what Islam says and I was like um you know I asked a question and she explained to me really really well like no it's like this it's like that this is how it is and I was like yeah okay um so I got her so like oh my god I have this so wrong and I still thought Islam was evil because I hadn't asked kind of the bad questions yet but then I was with in a discussion with a kind of a culture Muslim she was not she was not really a Muslim but she you know grew up Muslim and a discussion with her and I said things about Islam and she was like no it's not like that and when I 
when I researched it myself, I was like, what? It's not like that at all. So, because I was like, these these podcasts and people I've listened to, what they have said about Islam is so, is, this is false. This is not what it is. Like, how can I have so wrong? How can they have so wrong? And they, they just take verse and everything out of the con out of their context and I was like oh my god so I started you know I talked with my friend like every other day really often and I got more and more into Islam and one day when I sat at my desk I just realized Islam is the truth I'm a Muslim I was so scared because I have went so long time like Islam is pure evil Islam is like the the problem of the world, this is why it's bad and all this stuff. But, and then I realized it's not like that. I got, and I was so scared because my view on Islam was before, was like, I don't know, it was so weird. Um, then, uh, Last day in September 2016, Friday, I took my Shahada. We are WhatsApp, WhatsApp with my friend, Alhamdulillah. Um, so, yeah, then I became Muslim, and then I actually took my Shahada six days ago in the mosque with a friend. I got to learn. I get, I got a new, no, no, I don't know, excuse me, um, we are my Instagram account and another friend, and I took my Shahada day, I got a Quran, I got a Prima, I, um, all of that stuff, so, I'm so happy and thankful that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have guided me to the Islam and, I'm so thankful for everything and I I hope if you're looking into Islam I really hope that you you will revert or convert uh, soon inshallah and if you have any questions kind of um, about what's me to revert and all that stuff so just ask them I'm not, I'm going to tell my kind of niqab slash hijab story in another video inshallah um, but yeah, what's everything for this video? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh